The mystery surrounding the escape of two inmates last month is still an open book, but today City Council wanted at least some answers explaining why it happened and how to stop it from happening again. CBS News Philadelphia's Dan Snyder joins us with the specifics. Dan. Hey, Siafa. Lawmakers did hear testimony on that escape this morning, but much of today's hearing turned into a full accounting of what's happening inside the city prison system, and it shows a real divide between prison leaders and the officers who are in those facilities every day. The citizens of this city deserve an explanation as to exactly why and how something like this could happen. City council members want answers about how last month Amin Hurst and Nasir Grant were able to walk away from the Philadelphia Industrial Correctional Center, going unnoticed for nearly 24 hours. Prisons Commissioner Blanche Carney declined to go into detail about the escape, citing an ongoing investigation, but noted they have procedures for head counts. These procedures were not properly followed. Carney also pointed to staffing issues plaguing corrections facilities stemming from the pandemic, but noted in 2017, prisons were fully staffed. Yet today, only 1,318 of 2,186 budgeted positions are filled. But officers and advocates say issues in prisons go much deeper than staffing. Jeffrey Bishop is a sergeant at Riverside Correctional. He says he's filed multiple grievances with the department, but hasn't heard anything. He accused leadership of favoritism and more. If you are not in the clip with this administration, you don't get anything. You're considered the bottom barrel feeder and they treat you like a bottom barrel person. Carney pushed back on some of the claims made by Sergeant Bishop. This is not uh, a buddy system. I have no allegiance to anyone. We follow civil service regulations. City council members did express concern over some of those conditions described within the prison system. However, it's unclear where council will take things from here. Hearst and Grant are both back in custody and several others are facing charges for allegedly helping them escape. Dan Snyder, CBS Noon, uh, News Philadelphia. No easy solutions there. Thank you so much, Dan.